All right, Shalom, Shalom, Israel, Shalom to the Torah, Chazi Yasha Allah, giving the course to all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh Bashem, Mahashi Yaki Yahweh Shah. That's all praise, that's honor, glorification unto the Most High God Yahweh. In the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, this is Brother Yasha Allah coming back to y'all yet another video through the Spirit and Power Yahweh Bashem, Mahashi Yaki Yahweh Shah. All right, and this is just going into basically, I'm going to get straight into this. Uh, don't have much time, but this is basically going into there's none greater than them that fear the Lord, right? Talking about on the earth, right? On the earth, let's go to Sirach chapter 10 and verse uh, 24, right? Sirach chapter 10, verse 24. It says, great men and judges and potentates shall be honored. Who are the judges and the great men and potentates? These people, they're kings, right? They're kings, governors, princess, uh, 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 it's like your princess, right? These are great men that's on the earth, prime ministers, leaders of nations, right? These are potentates. People with power, right? Because potent means power, right? That's why, you you know, when you say uh, 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 omnipotent, right? We call the most uh, omnipotent, and that means he has all power, right? So potents, people with power, right? Great men, judges, and potents shall be honored. They're going to be honored. For example, who's a potent? Stalin, right? Joseph Stalin, who was the leader of the Soviet Union, right? He's a famous uh, uh, judge. He's a famous potent, great man. Right. That was a, a when I say great, I mean great in power. He was great in power. Right. For example, you have who Adolf Hitler and so many other people. Right. Dictators. These are men with great, great power. Right. So they're going to be honored. Right. Yet is there none of them that them greater than he that feared the Lord. Right. So like I'm here back. Right. Right. Salakia. Yet is there none of them greater than uh, greater than them that fear the Lord. If you fear the Lord, the Lord said that you're greater than them. Right? Why? Because you actually have the Most High on your side. You actually fear the Most High God, Yahweh Bashan, Yahweh Shah, who is the greatest. Right? You're actually a servant of the greatest man. Right? The greatest power, who is Yahweh Bashan, Yahweh Shah, the Father. Right? Let's go to the book of uh, uh, Psalms, right? Psalms chapter 25, verse 14. Right? Here's the people that fear the Lord. This is what they have, right? Psalms chapter 24, verse 14. It says what? The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show, him them, and he will show them his covenant. You see that? So the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, right? So those of us that fear the Most High... We have the secrets of the Most High. Remember, the Most High shows his secrets only to the nation of Israel. And only a few people within the nation of Israel does he actually deal with them, right? Because he doesn't show every every Israelite his secret, right? You go to the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 7. The Lord said that he showed his secret onto the prophets, onto his servants, the prophets, right? So only a, a few Israelites that actually fear the Lord are able to go into the, the scriptures and understand the secrets of the Almighty, to understand the secrets of the Lord, right? Well, I'll read that again. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them uh, his covenant. You see that? And you're going to be shown the covenant, right? Let's go to the book of uh, Psalms, right? Remember, the, the, the men and the women even that, that fear the Lord, they have great power. And they're over these certain men that have power on a physical level. Right. That's in this world right now, like these prime ministers, presidents, kings, right, governors. We're actually over them. Right. Those of us that actually fear the Lord. Right. Lord, Lord, one that I'm part of that number. Let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter one, uh, one, a uh, slot yet. One eleven and verse ten. Right. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and a good understanding have all they that do his commandments, his praise endure forever. You see that? So good understanding has all of those that fear, that actually fear the Lord, right? So they have this good understanding of the scriptures. And they can actually break down these scriptures, right? And ultimately, those that fear the Lord have the most side on his on on their side, right? Let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter uh, ninety-one. And the Lord said that in the book of Isaiah, chapter twenty-six, verse three, right? Um, that will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee, right? 
Let's go to Psalm chapter 91 and verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You see that? You're going to abide under the shadow of the Almighty, those of us that fear the Lord, right? Meaning that the Lord is going to, is going to protect you, right, from all evil, right? Like it says in the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, because those that fear the Lord, they're going to be keeping the commandments, right? Let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 5. It says, Whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing, and a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. So those that keep the commandments, they're gonna they're not gonna see evil, they're not gonna feel evil, right? Even tell you that in the book of Second Ezra chapter 2, right? So ultimately, these are, are are many of the reasons why the Lord is saying that those that fear the Lord are actually over these certain men that act, that have power in this in this world. Because these men that have power, they can't go into these scriptures and break it down like you. They can't understand uh, Deuteronomy 28, 68. They can't understand uh, the, 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 the mysteries, the dark sayings that's in this Bible. They don't have that amount of knowledge, right? Um, and, and, and ultimately, they don't have the Mosai on their side, right? The Mosai is not dealing with Donald Trump. He's not dealing with Joe Biden. He's not dealing with uh, uh, the damn prime minister of China. Right. He's not dealing with the supreme leader of North Korea. He's not dealing with these certain potentates and these uh, great men with great power on this earth right now. He's dealing with those that fear the Lord. Right. That those that fear him. Right. That's that's who the Lord is dealing with. Right. And those are Israelites. All right. Those are Israelites. Those are Israelites. That's in this truth that fear the Lord. Right. So, Khan, I didn't want to make this too long. With that, I'd like to give all the honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah. Lord willing, this is edifying, right? It's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah. Remember, if you fear the Lord, you're over these men, right? So, Khan, with that, all praise to Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah again. Uh, Lord willing, this is edifying. Kwam Yasha Allah. Shalom.